Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Higher Revision video. The 60 days are going to your GCSE Maths exam. And today we're going to focus on the topic of graphical inequality, so inequalities on graphs. So whenever we draw those inequalities on graphs and we show the particular region that satisfies those inequalities. If you've got the Code Maths Revision card, card number 91 in the higher sets on graphical inequality, so hopefully that'll be a useful one for you and help your study on this topic. In this video, we're going to go through graphical inequalities, so let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at graphical inequalities. So in this video, we're going to go through three examples of graphical inequalities questions. And then I would highly recommend you have a look at the practice questions today because with graphical inequalities, it's really handy if you have the grids drawn for you. So then you can draw those inequalities and show the regions really nicely on the grid. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to go through three examples. Uh, feel free to press pause and try and think about how you would do each of the questions and then listen to me talk about them. So here's our first question. It says on the grid, so here's our grid, clearly indicate the region that satisfies these inequalities. So we've got three inequalities x is greater than or equal to 2, y is greater than or equal to 1, and x plus y is less than or equal to 4. So in terms of these inequalities, what we're going to do is we're going to draw them. So we've got x is greater than or equal to 2. So we're going to draw the graph of x equals 2 on this grid. Now, because it's greater than or equal to, if you have greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, whenever you draw the line, you, you draw a solid line. If you've just got greater than or less than, you draw a dashed line. So because this is greater than or equal to, we're going to draw a solid line and we're going to draw the line x equals 2. So the graph of x equals 2 is a vertical line that passes through the x-axis at 2. So it'll be this line here. So that's the line x equals 2. Now we're going to draw the graph of y equals 1. So we're going to draw a solid line because it's greater than or equal to. We're going to draw a solid line and it's y equals 1. So that's the point where all the y coordinates are 1. So that's a horizontal line passing through 1 on the y-axis. So let's draw that line. So that's the line y equals 1. So we've drawn that line. And next we're going to draw the line x plus y equals 4. So x plus y equals 4. So let's draw that line. So whenever we draw this line, we could do an xy table, or you could rearrange and make y the subject. I'm going to do a little xy table, xy. I'm going to choose 0, 1, 2. So if x is equal to 0, we'd have 0 plus y is equal to 4. So y is equal to 4. If x is equal to 1, you've got 1 plus y is equal to 4. So y is 3. And if x is equal to 2, you'd have 2 plus y is equal to 4. So y is equal to 2. So we've got our coordinates, 0, 4. We've got 1, 3. And we've got 2, 2. So we're now going to get our ruler and pencil, and we're going to draw a nice straight line through those points, so it would look something like that. Okay, so we've drawn our three lines, x equals 2, y equals 1, and x plus y equals 4. Now we want to find the region that satisfies these inequalities. So let's start off with x is greater than or equal to 2. So we've got this line x equals 2, and all the points on that line or to the right of that line would satisfy that inequality, because we've got x is greater than or equal to 2. So anything to the left of that line, where the x values are less than 2, wouldn't work. So I'm just going to, in pencil, just do a little marking like this, just to show that anything to the left of that line wouldn't work. So just going to do a little mark, just like that to show me anything to the left of that line wouldn't work. Okay, our next inequality, y is greater than or equal to 1. So we're looking for a region that where the y coordinate is greater than or equal to 1. So we've got the line y equals 1. Anything below that line wouldn't work. So again, I'm just going to shade down there just gently, like so, just to show myself that anything below that line would not work, would not satisfy that inequality. So, so far, so we know that our region is going to be to the right of this line and above this line. So in terms of our diagram, it's either going to be this region or this region. So let's have a look at our last inequality. We've got x plus y is less than or equal to 4. So in terms of our line, x plus y equals 4, that's that line. And that means either this region or this region will satisfy this inequality. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a point that's not on this line. So I'm going to choose the origin, this point here. This point here, the origin, is not on that line. And I'm going to substitute in the coordinates for the origin, 0, 0, into this inequality and see if that works. So if we have here the x and y coordinates, 0, 0, we've got 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 4. So 0 plus 0, that's 0, is less than or equal to 4. Yes, it is. So that means that this point does satisfy the inequality. So that means that this region here satisfies this inequality inequality but this region up here above that diagonal line would not satisfy the region so just doing that shows us we're rejecting anything above that diagonal line so here's our region this region here and the question said they clearly indicate the region that satisfies those inequalities now the question might say label it with an r so you could put a capital r in there and show that that's the region that satisfies it you could shade it in and if the question said shade in the region that satisfies those inequalities you could shade in that region really well and show that that's the region um, but you just show that that's the region and that's it okay let's have a look at our next question Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question, we've been asked to, on the grid, this grid, clearly indicate the region that satisfies these inequalities. And we've got y is greater than 2, y is less than or equal to 2x plus 4, and x plus y is less than 4. And feel free to press pause now and think how you would indicate the region that satisfies these inequalities. 
Okay, so to begin with, I'm going to draw the lines y equals 2, y equals 2x plus 4, and I'm going to draw the graph of x plus y is equal to 4. So I'm going to draw those graphs to begin with. So let's start off with y equals 2. Well, that's a horizontal line that passes through 2 on the y-axis. Now, because this y is greater than 2, I'm not going to draw a solid line. I'm going to draw a dashed line because all the points have to be greater than 2, so they can't actually be on the line. So let's get a pencil and a ruler, and let's draw a dashed line passing through 2 on the y-axis. So it would look something like that. So that's the graph of y equals 2, and we've done a dashed line. Next, we've got y equals 2x plus 4. So we're going to draw this line. Let's do an xy table for this one. So xy, we've got 0, 1, 2. And all the y coordinates are 2 times the x coordinate plus 4. So multiplying all these numbers by 2 and adding 4 would give us, well, 2 times 0 is 0, plus 4 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 4 is going to be equal to 6. And 2 times 2 is 4, plus 4 is equal to 8. So we've got 0, 4, which would be here. 1, 6, which would be there, and 2, 8, which would be there. So we've got those points. Now let's get our ruler and pencil. Now because it's less than or equal to, we would do a solid line this time, so it would look something like this. Okay, so we've drawn y equals 2 and y equals 2x plus 4. Now we're going to draw x plus y equals 4. So x plus y equals 4, again, an xy table. Okay, so if the x coordinate is equal to 0, 0 plus y is equal to 4, so y would be equal to 4. If x equal to 1, we'd have 1 plus y is equal to 4, so y would be equal to 3. And if x is equal to 2, you'd have 2 plus y is equal to 4, so y is going to be equal to 2. So let's plot those points. So 0, 4, 1, 3 and 2, 2. So we've got those points. Now this is just less than, so we're going to do a dashed line passing through those. And that would be the graph of x plus y equals 4. So let's go back to our inequalities. We've got y is greater than 2. So let's look at the line y equals 2. If it's greater than 2, we're going to reject below the line. So we're going to reject below that. And I'm just doing little dashes just to show that I'm rejecting below the line. I'm not doing really big dashes or anything, just little subtle dashes just to help me find the region. And next, we've got y is less than or equal to 2x plus 4. So we drew that line, the solid line, which is y equals 2x plus 4. Let's choose a point not on that line. So I'm going to choose the origin. And I'm going to substitute into the inequality. So we had y is less than or equal to 2x plus 4. We've got the origin, which is the point 0, 0. So let's substitute those in. So we've got y, which is 0, is less than or equal to 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 4. So we get 0 is less than or equal to 4, and 0 is less than or equal to 4. So that means in terms of this diagonal line, where the origin is, that region, so we obviously with this diagonal line, we can either reject the top bit or reject below it. Now, because the origin satisfies the inequality, that means that this bit of the line, below that diagonal line, we're going to accept, and we're going to reject above it. So let's reject above that diagonal line. And again, just little subtle lines just to show ourselves what bit we're rejecting. So, so far, we know that our region will be above that horizontal line and below that diagonal line. So it means it's going to be in here somewhere. Now, in terms of this diagonal line, our x plus y is equal to 4. Again, let's choose the origin. It's not on that line. And let's substitute the origin into that inequality. So we have x plus y is less than 4. Let's put the origin in, which is 0 and 0. So we get 0 plus 0 is less than 4. And 0 plus 0 is 0 is less than 4. Yes. So in terms of this diagonal line, the origin is on the side we want to keep. So we want to reject above that diagonal line. So we're going to reject that region there. So that means that this is the region we're looking for. So if we were asked to clearly indicate the region satisfies these inequalities. I'm going to put an R in there. You could tick it or you could shade it in and show that that's the region. It depends on what the wording of the question is. So that's it. That's the region. Okay, let's have a look at one last question. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. So this time we've been given a region, R, and we're told that this region satisfies three inequalities. And we've been asked to state the three inequalities. And we've got these straight lines. So let's start by finding the equations of those lines. So in terms of this horizontal line, it passes through the y-axis at negative 4. So that's the line y equals equals negative 4, this line here. In terms of this line here, this diagonal here, well, let's find its equation. So y equals, now in terms of the equation, it's going to be mx plus c. So let's find its gradient and y-intercept. So in terms of its gradient, well, we're going across 1, down 2. Across 1 unit, down 2 units. Across 1 unit, down 2 units. Across 1, down 2. So the gradient of that diagonal line would be negative 2. So it's y equals negative 2x. And across is the y-axis of 4, so plus 4. So the equation of that line would be y equals negative 2x plus 4. And finally, this line here, this diagonal, it's going to be y equals. In terms of its gradient, well, let's choose a point on the line, so let's choose this one. If we go across one unit, we've got 1. Across one unit, we've got 1. Across one unit, we've got 1. So the gradient of this line is equal to 1, so it's going to be y equals x. We tend not to write y equals 1x. And across is through negative 2 in the y-axis, so it would be y equals x minus 2. So we've got the equations of the lines, and now we just need to figure out what the inequalities would be. So let's start off with this one here. Well, we know the region's above this line, so we've got that y is going to be greater than or equal to negative 4. The height is greater than or equal to negative four it's above that line okay now let's consider this diagonal line here the line y equals minus 2x plus 4 
So we know that the region we're accepting is to the left of that line or below it, depending on how you're looking at it. So it's this side of it. Okay, so we want to find out how what the inequality would look like. So we've got y and we've got minus 2x plus 4. And we want to figure out it's a solid line whether it's going to be greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Now in terms of the origin, the origin is on the side of that line that's been accepted. We're accepting to the left of that diagonal line. So if we substitute the origin, which is the point 0, 0, we want to figure out which way the inequality sign would go so that it works. So y, which is 0, and then we've got on the right hand side with 4. So that means the inequality sign would have to go that way around because 0 is going to be less than or equal to 4. So that means our inequality be y is less than or equal to minus 2x plus 4. And that's it. So it means we're accepting to the left of that diagonal line. Okay. Okay. So we've now found two inequalities. Let's find our last one. So we're going to look at our last line, which is y equals x minus 2. So that means our inequality will have a y and an x minus 2. And we seem to figure out whether this be a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Now, we've got the line y equals x minus 2. The region that satisfies that is below that line. So let's choose any point below that line. And let's figure out then which way the inequality symbol would go. So I'm going to choose a point below that line. I could choose any point at all. I could choose the point 0, negative 6. I could choose the point 1, negative 4. I could choose the point 2, negative 2. I could choose 4, 0. I'm going to choose the point 5, negative 1. Because 5, negative 1, it clearly is below that line. And we're trying to find the inequality so that we accept below that line, but not above that line. So let's let x equal 5 and y equals negative 1. So we'd have negative 1 for y. And then in terms of x minus 2, x equal to 5 minus 2 would be 3. So which way around would we put the inequality symbol so that this works? Then it would be this way. So we've got the y is less than or equal to x minus 2. So it would be y is less than or equal to x minus 2. And that's it. So we've got our three inequalities. And if you've got those, well done. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at graphical inequalities. We've looked at how to draw those inequalities on graphs. And we'll show particular regions that satisfy them but also how to go from regions on the graph to what the inequalities were. So hopefully you're able to do these questions in both ways, so draw on the inequalities, but also write down what the inequalities are. Um, in this video, I highly recommend the practice questions because in the description below, we've got a link to the practice questions. And those practice questions would be ideal to just give you a bit more practice on those graphical inequalities. So I really hope you found this video useful. The 60 days to go to GCSE maths exam. And one thing I would say is, obviously with a topic like this, you need your ruler and your pencil to be able to draw those graphical inequalities on the grid. So I would say with a topic like this, you know, it's, it just shows the importance of being prepared to, you know, whenever you go to your lessons, so have your equipment with you. So that perhaps if a teacher pulls out a question on a graphical inequalities question, you've got your favorite ruler, your favorite pencil, and you're ready to rock and roll and do that question. But anyway, I really hope you found this video useful. The 60 days are going to GCSE Maths exam, so tomorrow there'll be 59. And remember, 3 o'clock on YouTube will be the next video. Cheers. Bye.